Hi, this is an example of Resolve 14.5's beta being used to stitch Nokia Ozo 360 VR camera rig footage. The Ozo Plus camera has eight fisheye lenses that combine together to give you a stereoscopic view of the scene, or you can also do a 2D stitch in 360 degree equi rectangular output. And what I'm going to show today is Resolve and the new Fusion page being used to do uh, node-based stitching. So here, this is just flipping through a few of the different camera fisheye views on the Ozo camera rig. Each one captures a different view of the scene. And this is the footage loaded in using media in nodes into the Fusion page in Resolve. Uh, each of the cameras has a custom masking set and the footage from, is converted from fisheye into an equirectangular format uh, output using a node-based workflow. It takes probably about two to three seconds per frame to do a high quality stitch. And uh, this is just gonna show you what is involved. So the fisheye image is warped, and then it has a masking applied, it feathers the edge, then it goes into echo rectangular. A grid warp is used to just fine tune it, and then each view is merged together one at a time. The output, which will be shown in a second, is the finished view, the sky and everything else can be patched from any view you want, and the output is a 360 frame. And each view slowly adds together to cover the full view, viewable scene area, and that's a full frame. Uh, Fusion's page has a 360 VR uh, preview mode, which we can activate, which lets us explore inside the frame and see a quick preview. Fusion has a little bit of a stretching artifact at the poles, but other than that, it's a full 360 viewer, and the footage was node-based stitched inside of Resolve 14.5. It's pretty cool.